<laughs> Try it! No! What is up guys? It is me, Kristen B, and I'm back with another video. And to join me is my husband. <laughs> this is P Paul. I call him PJ. Um, and so this year we are embarking on our one year anniversary. So, well this year, not this year. Well, this year, but this week, we'll be celebrating our one-year anniversary. And so, this video is just, like, another update. It's just, we're just telling y'all how we have matured as one. Um, how we matured since we initially got married. Um, so, yeah. So, if y'all don't know, um, we eloped on april 18th and we had our ceremony on i think may 5th uh last year yeah may 5th um so yeah you don't want to talk you keep going and say your stuff um okay well you can go first no. okay all right i think he get a little camera shot but anywho um i feel as if my since last year since we initially got married i feel like i have had to um mature in different aspects in different ways but my main thing is communication because when i get angry i tend to shut down and i still have problems with that and i'm not ashamed to say that but i tend to shut down or just uh channel my anger through the wrong path so if we live in one space if he's my best friend he's my husband um and all of that we have to learn how to talk out things if we're upset or if something's wrong if not just something between us it's something that happened outside of our marriage you know that has made us sad or whatever we have to talk about it and figure out how to work through it and then I seen this post the other day and it said something like, um, would you rather talk it out with your spouse or would you rather spend a day, miss out on a day like with your best friend? Like I wouldn't, I don't want to be mad all day cause that's a day that I could have spent with my best friend, you know, happy and stuff. So that's one way. Um, do you have something to say about communication? Uh, I think I'm pretty good in that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pretty good. You've gotten better. Better? Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't good. What did you mean it wasn't good? Elaborate on that. <sighs> PJ holds stuff in. Um... Yeah, he holds stuff in, so he gonna, like, the thing that makes me mad about PJ is we'll be about to argue, and then he just gonna be like, so what you want to eat for dinner? You know what I mean? Like, one, we didn't come up with no solution, and two, I don't want nothing for dinner. Can you talk? Can't, and then, like, three weeks later, he be like, well, you remember that time? Or uh, remember that, and you did this, and you did that, and I be like, why couldn't you just communicate that with me initially? Because I don't like arguing with you. I don't like arguing because I be wanting peace. That's why I be like, what you want to eat? I'm like, bro, I ain't got time for you. Right, so, I mean, it's gotten better. What's one thing that's happened since, since we got married? Do you feel like you've gotten better or I've gotten better or what? I don't know. <sighs> uh, Take care of my responsibilities. Okay. So you got more responsibilities now, right? Yep. And how does that, how, how do you handle that like as 
he okay i'm 22 he he'll be 22 in about two weeks so um how do you handle that you know what i feel like i'm 35 and you're 19. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't got me a real job. How? What what you talking about? What you talking about? I ain't talking about that. I don't got a problem paying the bill. I know you don't. Okay. But what you talking about? I'm talking about the other stuff. The stuff you like, I'm not no housewife. I don't do all that. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, because I'm not. Listen. I'm not your everyday housewife, okay? I'm just not, like. I'm gonna make sure, you know, it's decent, but I'm not finna, like, I can't deep clean every day because I couldn't figure out how the moment them did that. And I'm still learning, and so that's pro it's probably gonna come in a few years. But how do you deep clean, like, every day? Like, how do you do that? Man, like, it's just not a I'm problem. off on Fridays, and most of the time, if I'm off that Friday, it's either I'm spending that time cleaning up the house. First of all, I'm not off on Fridays. You off this Friday, though. And I deep clean yesterday I while you, you were at work. Yeah, I give you that one. I give you yeah, that one. Yeah, oh, he be coming for me. So, what's some goals that we got? Like, our goal, goals as a couple now. Um, Let's get a puppy. Okay. So, our goals as a couple. We, we have, have, have babies. Yeah, that's our, what we've been, that's one of our main goals, you know, but we just gonna wait until God does that for us. So, yes, we are trying for a little one. Um, and then, uh, my personal, well, not my personal goal, but my goal is to get a job so I can, you know, help him. Cause like he take care of the bills with a breeze. Seems like it's to me in my eyes, but you know, I wanna be helping out too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it ain't hard on me. It's just be like, bro, you know how payday hit? You be like, oh, I got money. <laughs> Three hours later, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that's really I. I mean, my goal. I wanna get a truck this summer. That's what I wanna do. So we're working on starting five businesses. Me. Cutting grass, taking pictures, her out doing hair. She can do so wins, y'all. She been hiding so wins from me. I'm thinking about changing the garage into a beauty salon. I don't know. Just tell me what to do. Uh, we are trying to work on our businesses. We're gonna have a couple businesses in our names. Um. We are working on, you know, like I said, having another baby, and then also uh, getting another car. We have cars, but you know, trying to advance. But like all of these things will come in God's timing. Um, do you want to talk about how we trust in God to do stuff for us? How Pretty much we? everything we do, we trust in God. It's not on our own. It's through God. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Some things just, it be blowing our minds when God do it. Uh, and it be so unexpected, like super unexpected that God do it. And so that is one of the things that I have been learning. Because he's like my encourager through a little, a little background, a little tea is that, you know, like um, with us having a baby, there have been some difficulties. Of course, that's why I'm not pregnant yet. So... Um, I've been kind of just learning to trust in God with that. Um, and like, it's easy for him to say it because, you know, he's not the one that has to initially like carry the baby, but he still is. I don't want to put the baby in you. Okay. That part, but I'm just saying, you know, like if you're a woman and you've had trouble or if it's just, it's difficult when you have to go through those things. So, like I said, I'm learning to trust in God with that and just be patient in God's time. It'll happen. And, you know, um, and like I, my big thing, one of my things I've been saying this year is I don't want to go into anything prematurely. So, if God thinks this is too early, then it's too early. You know, we just got to wait on God. So, what do, 
what's some things we can work on in the future for our marriage? Our attitudes. Yeah. Cause I got an attitude. I mean, I've been told that my whole life. Like, what was that look? Huh? Hey, I'm glad you confessing this on camera. Cause I'm gonna go back every time. Every time I know. We get in an argument. You remember you saying this? You saying this? First of all, let me let me say we don't have like huge arguments. They just we have disagreements. That's what we gonna call them, okay? Oh, you whooping my tail. That's what it's called. Oh, I do. Stop lying on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, we do have disagreements. And it's just, we are two people that live somewhat totally different lives and trying to coexist. Come, come, come together. Yeah, coexist in one I space. So. We are family. Tree, you did not for the sky. Yeah. yeah, just like the two of us. Just the two of us. You can't, you can't start the song. You just end the right. You know I can't sing. So you, you and ah. Uh, like okay, so this video is kind of all over the place. But yes, we are two people that's trying to. We are learning how yeah, to coexist. We still one subject talking about marriage. We still in there. Okay. We're two people that's learning to coexist together. So. Oh yeah, then another go. We both trying to get in shape. Cause I want to be a cop or a firefighter. I don't know yet. Ooh. And I'm trying to get in shape because. So I can. Huh? Tell me my ear. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get in shape, um, and so yeah. I mean, I, we it's been going good so far. Um, I've been we ex to exercise five days a week. It's more like four days. <laughs> yeah, I still have yet. To, I gotta. I might do those this evening. I felt I initially we were we came to my parents' house or whatever this weekend and I had to do my Friday workouts and I forgot my tennis shoes. But I kinda wear like my daddy or my sister's tennis shoes. So I might go ahead and do that while I'm not doing nothing here. But um yes, we are trying to get in shape, so that's another goal of ours is cause we want long, healthy lives. And I wanna when God does bless us with a baby then you know, I want to be able to carry that baby. I told y'all in the last video, I want to be able to carry the baby and have no difficulties on my end. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I want to get in shape. Um, <clears throat> so, I want to lose like 70 pounds. So, yeah. What? Okay. 70. Let's see how that goes. Oh, Come what? in. But yeah, so we are trying to work on jobs. And babies and cars and shape and be I mean help. Um oh, did we get closer to God together. Yeah. Forget that one again. Let's talk about this subject, yeah. Um, so God is the center of our marriage and relationship and honestly, um this marriage is God ordained ordained. And so if God ordained it, then there is something that is going to grow beautifully out of this marriage. And the only way that this marriage can continue to prosper and flourish is that we stay connected with God and um, get closer to God together. Um, because as for me as a wife, I need to learn how to follow and you know, be receptive as to what my husband tells me and what he thinks is best for our family. Um, even though it's just two of us, we he I have to be receptive. I have to you know be able to trust my husband that he hears the voice of God and you know just knows what's best for our family. So, um, and also we just need God to because. I don't ever want to be one of those couples where we didn't last or we just have irreconcilable, what's the words? 
irreconcilable. I think that's where differences and stuff that, you know, I don't ever just want to fall apart because many people have told us that we have been like a light to them and be. You want to change this? Um. Yeah, so I just, I want to continue to be a light to others and an example for others and just show that being young and married can work and stuff. So, you can go ahead with you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to work on to uh, whatever decisions I make, make sure that it's going to benefit the both of us and not just one person. And just make sure I, uh, I need to see God more where I'll be able to hear his voice clearly or here's his direction to, to give what he give me for my family and just be a better person yeah and so do you have any encouragement encouraging words for young uh dating couples that are planning to get married if they being discouraged or having second thoughts so. well just keep folks out of your business uh, don't let nobody deteriorate you from Whatever decision. Deter. Deter. Deteriorate. Uh, deter. Uh, deteriorate, whatever. <laughs> deter. That's the word. Deteriorate. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't allow nobody to deter you from whatever decision you make. If you feel like your gut saying go for it, go with it. Go for whatever your gut say. And most important, they need to see God about it. Yeah, just make sure when you are, you know, in the process of getting sure be get in the process of possibly getting married or if you're engaged or you know just dating or whatever that you want to keep God first keep God at the center of your relationship and also you need to evaluate and consider uh, the person's faults or the person's um, flaws and see if there's something that you can deal with on the daily because it's some stuff like I'd be like you know what? I signed up for this. I can deal with it. You know, um, PJ PJ farting his sleep all the time, and I just be like, you know, I signed up for this, and I can, I think I can deal with somebody farting all the time in the bed. What? It's true. But he bought. But anyways, yeah. So y'all, be encouraged. Uh, I know this video is kind of all over the place, but. Uh, Says we all over the place. Kids stay away from drugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stay away from drugs. You know, get in church. Be active in church. Do something. You know, be productive with your life. You know, stay in school. You know, if you're in high school, stay in school. Get that degree. If you, if you're after school, if you want to go to college, go to college. If you want to go to trade school, go to trade school. If you want to be an entrepreneur. Do things disease. that are positive. Don't yeah. do negative. Don't things. do negative things. Stop taking shortcuts. Right, right, right. Shortcuts don't leave nowhere, but. You still gonna be to destruction, yes. Uh, not destruction, but I don't know. But um, yeah. So this this is us. This is this is us. This is us. And this Thursday, like we said, we're gonna be celebrating our one year anniversary. So Miss Kelly, if you watching this video, I'm not gonna be at work on Thursday. Why not? Cause I'm gonna be at school. Well, you just make sure you at school. If you want to see more videos from us, then let us. We supposed to be going to the gun range with somebody. We new. have we been trying to go. I don't know how to do this video because I don't know how. To, you know. Well, listen, we gonna we gonna just take y'all to the gun range. We're gonna go soon. We go next weekend. We just go next weekend on our anniversary weekend because it's just next weekend is gonna be solely about us. Period. Period. Tell them. Period. 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 This is just this video was solely just to let y'all know where we are now. Um, what we got planned. You know, we didn't give y'all all the tea, but it's just this just us, okay? And I love you. I love you too. Yeah. It made me tingle inside, you know. Makes you tingle. How are we done? <laughs> <laughs> Give me butterflies in my back. 
in your bed. I love him. He is the best husband in the world. He is just, he's caring, he's loving, he's a provider. Um, he satisfy all my needs, you know, he's just the best, okay? And he just listen to me. And first of all, he my bestest friend. Like my best, best friend. Okay, I love her very much. She's my best friend. Uh, we are gonna talk to y'all later. Why? Cause we gotta take care of some stuff. Come on, Kristen. Bye, y'all. Still on bye. Bye. Screaming, oh my God, cause you lie.